deeply into that. I just want to acknowledge that for many of us, myself included, as we begin to awaken, we often find ourselves quite alone in that regard. And that is, we may find that those around us, including our close friends and family, remain very much asleep. Not only that, but typically they show no interest in waking up and may even be adverse to it. And that aversion may also be extended toward our own awakening. That is, our awakening may seem to make some people a little uncomfortable. And with all that said, we may find ourselves not merely alone, but feeling rather alienated, finding ourselves surrounded by unconscious people. And it can often be very challenging because most people are not very conscious of their own behavior or how it affects others. Most people are self-absorbed rather than self-aware. And so this can bring about all sorts of tension and conflict. But as to this question of how to deal with such people, we really have to look at the question itself. We have to ask where this question is coming from. What is that problem? To share from my own experience with all of this, and by the way, I've listened to many other people's experiences with this, and they're all very similar. But to share from my own experience, I recall one person in particular in my life who, although they were very well-meaning, they had a lot of unconscious behaviors that I found particularly irritating. If I start to break down these ball, you know, these, these, these different walls and barriers, and that's when I started realizing I could become a Navy SEAL. I could become this, but I was afraid of the water. Think about this. I know. Why the fuck are you gonna go be a Navy SEAL when all you do is play in the water? Yeah. For, and we don't play, we're in it, and we're living in it. You're tired the now, ocean. you're swimming for miles. That's right, the ocean is unforgiving. Yeah. yeah. So my yeah. mind is, I'm gonna go be a Navy SEAL. Yeah. If I didn't face that fear, no one would ever know me. I was number three behind Michelle Obama for a long time until my book sold out. Yeah. And I was a guy just 21 there years ago. Book there who was 300 pounds. Could barely you read, read poetry? And so every time I was around this person, I would find myself getting really irritated. And this person was very self-absorbed, always in their own head, always rambling on about trivial things which I had no interest in at all. And the conversations were very much one-sided. They didn't really listen very well. And they had all kinds of other quirks that just seemed to agitate me in so many ways. But as I sat with that agitation and began looking deeply into it, what I came to realize was that this other person was not the cause of it. That agitation was rising up from within me. And as I traced it back down, what I found beneath it was a great deal of disappointment and frustration in regard to many things in life. Too many things to go into here. So basically what I do here is you have to make sure that your mind doesn't become spastic. Mm -hmm. When it's suffering, when it's in pain, all it wants to do is find an easy way out, which is usually quit. Mm -hmm. You quit, the pain goes away immediately. Yeah. You gotta give yourself enough energy and fuel when your mind is staying just a little bit longer so you can talk yourself into staying for the whole thing. Yeah. This is how it works. Most of us never start anything cold. If you're gonna go to college, you gotta study your ass off. If you want to run a 100-mile race, a marathon, if you want to go be Yo, Mr. Olympia, if you want to go drunk, be a scientist, a doctor, you're one of the best salespeople on the planet. You, you got to work. Hurry. You got to work. But this and is you what you got to do. build. No, you got to build. What happens is, like, in that moment, like, when we need like, self-talk, 
when we're failing and we're in our worst spot possible, we forget the front end, the, all the buildup to where we're at today. We forget that we put years, yeah. years, maybe not into making these dials, but to getting where you're at today. To become this person. To become this person, to be in a position to make this money, whatever the fuck you want to make, whatever you want to do in your life. Yeah. We forget that. We forget that journey on what it took for us to get in this moment to make the right decision. Yeah. So that's my self-talk is this. Okay, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here, man. I'm done. Then I remember this. You ran 2,000 miles training to be in this moment right now. We forget that. We forget the three o'clock in the What do you forget? What do you forget? What do you forget? I forget. Ah, uh, dude, my leg's cramped from trying the hi-hat thing. I cramped up. What do you forget? Oh, also, you need some magnesium? I got you, It's dog. also the kick on the skateboard, too. It's the kick leg guys. Here, here, dog. You, you didn't want some magnesium citrate? It'll help your nervous system. Kyle's down. Guys, Kyle's down. Here you go. Here's some water. We got some water for you. What was that? What was that? What'd you say? What'd you say, nerd? Would you say, did you say something, nerd? Would you say, stupid eagle shirt? I don't even like, I don't even like eagles. It's all about pigeons. So what I had come to recognize was that this feeling of irritation was very much an unconscious reaction which was arising from underlying feelings of frustration. 